Hey fam, welcome into the channel. How are y'all doing today? So I am pre-recording this because I just put a video up and then I saw this video and I'm like, well, we'll just do it for today. So I hope you guys are having a blessed day. There's a lot happening. My father was in a car accident yesterday. So my phone keeps going off um with updates on how he's doing so please send prayers out for him but on to this story you see the title in here i told you guys there would be more stores that would be closing up and um last year we started talking about the whole merger between these two large companies and how it's going to be a fallout from that. There will be stores that are closing, even though they're opening up more stores and they're combining their stores together. There's an overlap in stores in certain areas. So therefore, stores would be shutting down. And that is what is potentially going to happen once this merger does go through. Right now, they are fighting it. And you're probably saying, well, you're not saying who it is yet. I'm going to pull the story up and we're going to read the story together, not the full story, but you know, I'll give you a breakdown of what exactly is happening. But before we get into that, we definitely need you to hit that like button so that this video gets out to more people. More people will be aware that we do need to be preparing as much as we possibly can. The economy it does not look good at all. There are a lot of people that are struggling out here, people who were doing well aren't doing so well right now. Um, housing interest rates are skyrocketing. If this economy does collapse any further, there's going to be a huge fallout. And knowing that your home, if you're able to keep it, if your home is stocked up with food, medication and things like that, that's one less thing you have to worry about buying. You can concentrate on getting those other bills paid, hopefully. So let me share my screen with you guys so you can see exactly what I'm talking about. <clears throat> so this is major grocery store chain closing 26 stores in Texas and two in Louisiana. Uh, the grocery store landscape in Louisiana and Texas may undergo significant changes if the proposed merger between retail giants Kroger's and Albertsons is approved. You can let me know in the comments, do you have a Kroger or Albertson where you live? Everyone does not have these stores, even though they are major stores. Like when I was in South Carolina, we didn't have Albertsons, but we definitely had a lot of Kroger's. Now here where I'm at in this part of North Carolina, we don't have any Kroger's. We don't have any Albertsons. Even if I drove off to Charlotte or something um, over an hour away, I don't think they have a Kroger. So I'm not sure. Um, let me know in the comments. The Kroger um, Co. aims to acquire the Albertsons name with plans to shed over 4 Hundred stores predominantly in the western part of the United States. As part of the merger to address regulatory concerns, a large divestiture of 413 stores to CNS wholesale grocers was announced by Kroger and Albertson in September of 2023. The majority of these divested stores are situated See, let me, before I get into reading all of it, let me get into just saying that the government really does not want this to take place. So they're being very, very aggressive, more aggressive than, well, this administration is being more aggressive than any other administration has ever been when it came to merging. Um, and this is where they're putting their foot down. And in the process of that, they're trying to control everything, this administration. So let's remember, this is a voting season. So they want to come off strong and, you know, we're going to make an example of things. This merger will take place. 
no matter how many times Congress is meeting about a grocery store merger. How often do you hear about that? This merger will take place. It may have some stipulations, but these stores are going to close regardless. So it says that because of the overlap in other regions, the divestiture agreement includes an option for the buyer to acquire additional stores if mandated by regulators. However, government agencies overseeing such large scale transactions, such as the FTC and several lawmakers have expressed concerns about previous divestitures. They argue that divested stores in the past instances were unable to compete and eventually face bankruptcy. Despite these concerns, the merger may still proceed. It's going to proceed. You're talking about money, big money. And it says right here, see right here? But the deal could still go through. It's going to go through. So how this is going to affect Louisiana and Texas, it says several stores across both states are going to be impacted by this divestiture plan put forward by Kroger. Publicly available information indicates that 28 stores in Texas and two in Louisiana will be impacted. Texas being Albertson's second largest state in terms of store count with 44 locations is set to close 26 stores. Again, in Texas, they're set to close 26 stores. And then in Louisiana, they're expected to close two stores. Now, how many they close could change. It could be more or it could be less. But as of right now, this is what is set in place. It says Texas is Albertson's second biggest state in terms of number of stores. It clocks in with 44. I just read that. Louisiana, meanwhile, will see two of the Albertson stores close. Both Kroger's and Albertsons currently operate over 2,000 stores nationwide. And the merger is scheduled to conclude after January 17th. However, the merger is not a finalized deal. So I don't know if this merger has gone through. I think it's gotten to the point where it's pretty much over because we're in February now. And they're saying that the merger is scheduled to conclude after January 17th, but it does not say an exact date. I think it's coming up on whatever date they have set that they're not saying, and this merger will take place. It says government regulators, including the FTC, which has taken an increasingly aggressive stance against mergers and acquisitions, could potentially block the transaction. I think it's all about who's going to grease whose pockets, and that is going to determine when this finally goes through. That's why I say it's going to go through. Further complicating matters, uh, while the two chains have agreed on a merger, it's not a done deal. Those same government regulators who are questioning the deal could try to block it, resulting in legal action that might delay the deal. Delay, but not stop. You have to read between those lines. It says in its reports on the deal, the Kroger Co. Uh, wrote that given the FTC's increasingly aggressive enforcement stance against mergers and acquisitions, as well as um, Chair Lena Khan's previous writings on food retail, uh, specifically, the agency appears poised to try to block the transaction, even with the divestitures. The FTC and U.S. Justice Department recently unveiled draft revisions to the agency's merger guidelines further suggest that they plan to challenge more mergers, not just Kroger's and Albertsons. They want to challenge more and to do so more aggressively than under any past administrations. 
So you know what that goal is saying right there in that whole sentence is we got to get Biden out of here because he is doing too much. So y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. And I will be talking to you guys down there and also at least the first hour or two. So if you want to be talking back and forth with me, make sure you're in there that first hour or two. Otherwise, I go back periodically, but I don't just sit there in that one video because there's so much news happening. I want to make sure you guys get the news that you definitely can use and stay informed as to what is happening out here in these streets. So hit the like button, share the videos out, comment. And if you have not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Become one of our family members, which I call cousins over here. We will bring you news that you can use, but we also will bring you homesteading videos as well. And occasionally a cooking video, but definitely on my other channel, Tommy Bites Life, I bring you all homesteading renovations, cooking, et cetera. So if you want to see those things, go subscribe over there. And the, all of that stuff is down in the description box, Tommy Bites Life. Just click it and subscribe. And again, subscribe to this channel because we would love to have you. I'll see you in the next video. Remember that I love you, but God loves you more. He created only one you. Be the best you that you can be. And when you are, go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thanks for being here on the channel.